All right. In this video, we're going to look at 2024 physics practical question one that involves mechanics. I have already done a video on this on how to manipulate the result, but I think I uh, to make it a little bit more easier. So that's why I decided to create this video because your weights could be recorded in grams or in newton. So in this video, I'm going to be working on the masses or the weights in grams to make it a lot more easier okay so the setup is here as usual so we have the setup so you can read through this if you have uh, the um, access to the other video you can just read through this and see what they ask us to do but i'll just uh, tell you in the notes here what it's all about so in this i have a table that records the mass so depending on the masses that you are giving but here i'm using the masses of 50 grams um 100 gram 150 gram 20 grams and 250 gram whatever the mass is you can actually also use the same uh formulas for that so i'll just record the masses to on this side to one decimal places so at least one decimal place so these are the masses recorded there then we you were asked to record the weight in air which is w1 newton so since i'm going to be recording this in um gram so i have to change the unit here to gram so this is going to be a gram it's no longer going to be a newton so i'll just transfer all of these masses this way 50.0 or 50.00 to two decimal this three decimal or what whatever suits you okay so i'm just going to transfer all of those masses uh, the, uh that way in that order so this will be recorded as so I also have the weight in water. So the weight in water, I'm going to, because I'm recording them in grams, so this is going to be in gram two, and the weight in kerosene or liquid in grams two. Then we now have this. All of this should be, now be converted to grams. So all of this should be converted to grams. And you also have V, which is W1 minus W2, now also in grams so all of them should be in grams so i'll just transfer all the masses this way because they are in masses all of these masses the word the masses record here will be the same as the record in what in air so after that i'm going to now uh, use the formula for ultras to calculate the values of u and v so that's what i'm going to do so after that then we know that ultras of a uh, is equal to density of a liquid times the volume of that liquid and the volume of times the volume of the solid rather and the volume of the solid will then be equal to the mass of the solid divided by that the density of that solid so what i'm going to do is this i'm just going to write this formula and translate it into this so this is going to be the mass this mass m will represent all these masses all these ones in air this is the density of the solid i'm going to use in gram per sample so this is up the approximate density of steel so I'm, I'm assuming i'm using steel and you can look for other metals that you can use so what i'm just going to do to get the values of u so i'm going to calculate u for liquid first so the density of the u for the liquid water the first uh, this represents water the density of water is one gram then times the mass divided by 7.85. So what I'm going to do, since one times one is going to give us, I'll just take this mass and plug them. So I'm going to have 50 divided by 70 point, divided by 7.85. That's going to give me 6.3. So I'm going to record that to 6.37. What I actually had was 6.3. 369 so i just approximate this to two decimal point so the next value here no i have to put 100 there. so you see that all these values here are multiples of this this is just two times 50 this is three times 50 this is four times 50 and this is five times 50. so what i'm going to do these values here i'll just multiply for to get i multiply by two i multiply to get uh, by three to get this i multiply this by four to this by four to get this I multiply this by five to get so what i'm going to do i'm just going to say 
times 2, that's going to give me 12.74. So I'm going to record this now here as 12.74. The next one, I'm going to say 6.37. I multiply it by 3. That's going to give me 19.11. Then again, the next one, I'm going to multiply 6.37 by 4. So I'm going to get 25.48. Then I multiply 6.37 by 5, and that's going to give me 31.85. So I'm recording all these two three decimal places, uh, two decimal places. You can as well record them to one decimal place. There's no uh, uh, big deal about that. But it's good that we can just re uh, represent them to two decimal word places. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to calculate V. Then for this time around, V would now be equal to the density of liquid, that's kerosene, times the volume of times the volume of solid again. This time the volume of solid is M over 7.85. So I'll just come and write it here. M all over 7.85. The de density of kerosene is between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. So I'm going to use 0 0.8. So in gram per uh, cm cube times the mass divided by 7.85. So what I'm going to do, I'll just divide, I'll divide this by this so that I'll just get a value that I'll multiply by M. So that's going to give me, so I'm going to record this. I have 0 0.1019. So I'm going to record it as 0 0.102. So I'll put my M here. So what I just have to do is to just plug, plot, uh, plug in the value of M into this uh, equation here. So let's get that. So I'm going to do 0 0.102 times 50, 0 0.102 times 50. That's going to give me 5.1. So I'm going to record as 5.10. Then, then the same thing, I'm going to do the same thing to this. So what I'm going to do is that, because I'm placing the mass 100 gram, 150, so these are, are multiple values of this. So I'm going to multiply to get this, I'm going to multiply it by 2. To get this, I multiply this by 3 and so on till I get to this. So I'm going to multiply 5.1 5 times 2. That's going to give me 10.2. So I'm going to record it at 10.20. Then I'm going to multiply 5.10 times 3. That's going to give me 15.30. If I multiply this by 4, it's going to give me 20.40. If I multiply that, I'm going to have 25.40. So these are the values. Very easy. So the next thing I have to do now is this. To get the value of this, okay? So I have to subtract these values from this to get the values here. I'll subtract these values from this to get the values here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have 50 minus 6.37. So 50 minus 6.37. That's going to give me 43.63. 43.63. Then I'll go and work out the other one. 100, uh, 100 minus 12.74. 100 minus 12.74. That's going to give me 87.26. 87.26. Then I'll do 150 minus 19.11. That's going to give me 130. Point eight nine. Then I'll do two hundred minus twenty five point four eight. That's going to give me four hundred and seventy four point five two. Then I'll do two fifty minus thirty one point eight five. That's going to give me two hundred and eighteen point one five. Then for the next one, I'll do the same for this again. To get this, I'll subtract these values from all of this one here. So the first one is going to now to be 50 minus 5.10, 50 minus 5.1. That's going to give me 44.9. So I'll record that to two decimal places, 90. Then I'm going to have a 100 minus 10.20. That's going to give me 89.8. So I'll record that to two decimal places, I'll add zero to it, 150 minus 
15.30. So that's going to give me 134.7. I'll record that to two decimal places by adding zero. Then I have 200 minus 20.4. That's going to give me 179.6. Then I'll add zero to it to two decimal places. Then I have 250 minus 25.4. That's going to give me 224.6. I'll add zero to that. So this is my required table. Now, look at the trend. If you look at this, you find out that as the mass in air is increasing, the mass here are also what? Increasing. The masses here are increasing. Also with this. But take note of this. This is always greater than 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 this. Greater than this. And the trend follows like that. So once you get a trend that follows like this, that means you'll read this are what? Correct. There's no need to panic. The most important thing is to be able to plot your graph. So that will be all for this. And uh, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share your comments on this.